Hi everyone. So, a lot of talk recently about some skills matrices and thought I would just for the hell of it see what I could come up with in a short period of time with Monday.com. So, many of you are probably familiar with the idea of this pi four quadrant idea. <clears throat> Someone's been trained, how well they've been trained, if they got the full pie done, they are a trainer. So, Monday.com, I ended up putting, and I could change this, we'll call it the task down the side here as the items. And I put names of employees, Tom, Dick, Harry, Ben, and Jerry. Okay, and I'm using statuses, and I have a couple different statuses. No training, you receive basic training can do the task with help, you can work alone and produce a good product, or you can train other people. So these are four or five different possibilities for each task for a given employee. So you go through and you set those statuses. And here I have one thing as a manager might like to know, how many people do we have that can train on a given task? Well, we have two. Well, we have to look down here at assembly. And again, this is just all made up stuff, okay? Uh, we actually have zero. We have three guys that can work alone, but we have none that can train. So this is kind of a problem. Uh, management can see this problem and say, we need to solve this problem. Now, again, this is just a few people. This probably wouldn't work with hundreds of people. You may want to make boards for different departments or different types of tasks or something. Uh, so, in this case, I did a formula and said if column Tom has Ken train, then we got a one. And then plus this and blah, 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 blah. There's some disadvantages to this method, as in when it is zero, I can't use a standard Monday automation. This one here, I ended up doing with automations. So every time you change a status, it ends up changing, such as if we look at... Uh, uh, I forgot, I had different names in here, I had Bill and some other names, so Tom. When Tom changes to Ken Train to anything, decrease trainers by one. And we got another one here that says Tom. When Tom changes to Ken Train, increase trainers by one. So now that kind of uh, keeps track of number of trainers over here. And then you could have an automation that says when this something in this column becomes below some number, such as one or zero or whatever your case may be, now notify someone. So the minute this happens, you could notify the manager that we need to train someone on this task at the moment it happens. This becomes a management tool. Now Another way we could do this, I ended up using the ratings idea. And again, I did Tom, Dick, Harry, Ben, and Jerry. And this one became a little more crazier, or not crazier, but has a little bit of a challenge because ratings are harder to work with. But on one hand, now I can see Tom has a 4.3 out of 5 rating. Sounds pretty good. Uh, and so now you can kind of see, hey, Harry, he's not so good in this if this was a department. He's not so good in this department. He's got two things that are singularly rated uh, where he hasn't even been trained on yet. Uh, so that's a problem. So uh, here what I did was, again, number of trainers. And I had a number of people that are four plus. So if you have a four, you know, that's someone that can work alone or someone who can train. So we got a lot of four pluses in, in uh, purchasing here. Uh, but, and we have a lot of four, pl 
four plus in assembly, but we got no trainers. Um, so that's kind of kind of of interest there. We only have two two CAD guys, so you know that could maybe be a problem. Um, so now, how do we do this? This one I just kind of stumbled across. I use if Tom rating equals five, there's five stars, then make it the value be one. Otherwise, the value is zero. I just kind of added Dick's rating, Harry's rating, Ben's rating, Jerry's rating, and that's how I got these ratings. And in this case, I said if it's greater than uh, uh, three rating, then you're four or five, and add one. So these are good. Now, these with standard, I use the word standard, Monday uh, numbers, uh, automations you can't do anything with these so I can't notify someone that we have zero trainers but I can quickly look down a list and see that and I can quickly see that Harry maybe Harry needs to get some freaking training and learn this stuff or Harry needs to go out the door uh, so uh, this was something again that I put together uh, in a very short period of time in monday.com it was a fun little exercise, uh, trying to figure out how to do some stuff. I learned a few things along the way, and uh, like some other things I've done in the past, I like to kind of throw something up that might be workable, and see how other people use it, and see how they can develop it further, and uh, make something even better for the community. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you if I can.